Hi there and welcome. This video will show you how to separate or combine bundles of data in your workflows using the iterator and aggregator. Now these modules might sound scary, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you will know exactly when and how to use them. So first let's take a look at a quick example. This workflow is looking for new emails and checking for attachments and then saving those attachments to a Google Drive folder. But to better understand why do we need to use the iterator module here, we'll need to take a look at how does the email module send the data to Google Drive. What I mean by that is it sends them in an array. Now, an array is essentially a collection of items where the attachments array has multiple items inside it. So attachment one, attachment two, and attachment three. And what the iterator module does it extracts the items from the array and then sends them one by one as separate items to other modules in the workflow so that they can be processed correctly. So visually, it looks something like this. When a new email comes in, it's gonna check for attachments and the iterator is gonna extract those items from the array and then send those files as separate items to Google Drive. Now let's take a look at the setup. We can go ahead and delete these modules and build that workflow again. So first look for the flow control menu and select the iterator inside it. Now it's looking for an array, so we can click here and select uh, one of the arrays available here. You'll recognize arrays by these square brackets. Also the tooltip is telling us that it's an array. We'll use the attachments array here from the email. We can go ahead and add a next module, which is going to be Google Drive, upload the file. So just quickly going through the setup of this module. And then down in the file section, you'll notice that there's the flow control iterator module marked as the source for the file. We can also switch to mapping to check that the data from the iterator is used here. So with this setup, this workflow is now correctly going to process the attachments. Now let's take a look at how to do the opposite process. And that is put items inside an array so that it can be used in other modules in your workflow. And for this, we'll use the aggregator module. So essentially the aggregator module takes separate items and puts them inside an array so that they can be sent as an array to other modules. So let's take a look at a different workflow. This one is looking for files in a Google Drive folder. This could be maybe finished files for your project, then downloads the files, puts them inside an array, and then sends that array to the email app so that it can send one email with attachments. So if you want to send a single email with multiple attachments, this is the right way to do it. Now let's take a look at how to build this. So let's go ahead and delete the two modules. So let's set up the last two modules again. First, look for the flow control menu and then select the array aggregator. Now you'll notice there's a little bit more setup to do here, but don't worry, we can make this easier by connecting the email module first. It's gonna recognize the connection and make the setup easier for us. So let's find the email module Just quickly going through the setup here, selecting the account, address, and subject. You could of course use data from other modules for this. And down here for the attachments, we can map the array coming from the array aggregator. Now going back to the uh, aggregator, for the source module, we'll select the watch files in a folder. And for the target structure type, this is where it's easier for us. We can select attachments because it has recognized that we're going to send attachments in an email. And for the source file, the array aggregator is grabbing the file from the download file module, which is also correct. So we've covered the basics of working with arrays, how to recognize arrays, how to extract items from an array using the iterator, and also how to put items inside an array using the array aggregator. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in another video.